magnify the Lord with me. Let's exalt the name of Jesus. He has won so many battles for us. He has given us victory in every situation. He has opened doors. And today is a day of opening the door, of making you see beyond what you are seeing at the moment. Some of us are so carried away by the things we see that we are not able to see beyond it. May the Lord today open your eyes that you see beyond the surface. See beyond the so-called barrier and get in onto the best for your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Today we are going to read Exodus chapter 14, verse 15. Exodus 14, 15. And the Lord said to Moses, why do you cry to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward. You know the message? The way is on the other side. The way is on the other side. They had gotten to the Red Sea and they could not cross to the other side. And the way to Canaan is on the other side of the Red Sea. The barrier. They left Egypt very happy, very excited. We have left slavery of hundreds of years. And so we are now free citizens. We'll go and sort out our lives. And then we'll get to a barrier. And they got to the barrier, the Red Sea. They couldn't go forward. They can't turn back. They turn back into Egypt. Worse than that, the soldiers of Egypt were pursuing them. If they turn back, they will be killed. And here was a desert they couldn't enter. They will be stuck in the sand and still be killed. And the other side was a valley. They can't jump into the valley. They will all die. As it were, surrounded all round. But the way is on the other side. There's a way on the other side, if only the Red Sea will move. And God said, I am with you. The Red Sea would part. Moses Stretch your rod forward. He did. And the Red Sea parted. As the scripture says, this way and that way. And they walked through on dry land. The children of Israel, they walked through on dry land. The way is on the other side. You have met a barrier in life in one form or the other. You have met a barrier in what you were pursuing. In that thing that would have yielded so much fruit and you get to a point is sealed up and you are not seeing the other side at all. But you know that that thing should have ended well, but it has refused to go because something has blocked you. Whatever has become a blockage in your life, today is the end of that blockage. There is a parting of the Red Sea. There is a breakdown of that world. Peter Jesus commissioned him to go out and preach the gospel to whomsoever he would meet, but he was restrained by the prison walls. They caught him and locked him in prison. The doors opened. There was a way on the other side to go and preach. But the prison had hemmed him in, for God did not leave him. God will not leave you if you belong to him. Yes, success will come. Just wait. Moses told the children of Israel, wait, you are going to see the glory of God. Although it was a wrong thing to say because God wanted them to move forward. Now, that is a very important point. When you see the barrier, that is not the end of the journey. So many of us end what we are doing when the barrier comes up. You know, somebody is praying, and he's praying about a particular issue. All he sees is a lion standing by the door. He's not going there again. He has changed his mind. What did he see? I saw a lion. If he was praying for another person, we'll tell that person, don't go, there's a lion standing there. You need to see beyond the lion. First of all, to see if the lion's legs are tied by chains and it cannot jump, it's just standing. And number two, does it still have claws or teeth or anything at all? Is it just an ordinary lion that has been incapacitated? Both hands and legs are chained. And the claws have been taken off just in case. And the teeth are no longer there. Is that a lion that can harm you? Because there's a way on the other side of the lion. Can you pass that lion? Yes, very freely because it cannot even move. What if you saw the lion and turned back? What will happen to you? Without the soldiers of Egypt behind the children of Israel, some of them would have run back. Mercifully, what was supposed to be bad became the restraining factor. We need to restrain ourselves when things go wrong. Some of us run to the devil. Some of us run to our friends. We run in every direction. That is not what it should be. Stand still, stand firm. 
God is faithful. God will never lead you in a direction and leave you alone. Has God told you to take that step? Because that's the important thing. That business that you engaged in, is it God that told you to get engaged in it? Or you have finished getting yourself engaged and you tell God to approve of it, like it or not? That endeavor that you are engaged in, was it by the direction of the Holy Spirit? Because anything that is directed by God, God will see it through to the end. No matter what the barrier is in front. No matter how many lions are there. Snakes and scorpions, name them. Everything that is evil and wicked can be in front of you. Every barrier can be put up by anybody. Natural, unnatural, however they are. But if God is involved, every barrier will give way. And they give way now in Jesus' name. But let's take it that you did that thing and you never consulted God. Can you repent and ask God for forgiveness? And listen to his direction. If he still says continue, then know that he's going to open that barrier. He will break through a way for you. And you will hit the one on the other side, the road to success. But if he tells you to turn around, don't think that it is late to do so. Count your losses, turn around. But if you turned around on the instruction of God, whatever you call losses will become profits. God has a way of making things happen beyond our every understanding, no matter how you try to analyze it. So many things that God will do. They don't have anything to do with your analysis, your understanding, how things go and how things should work. They function by God. I am going to pray for everybody, whatever barrier is in your life. Now, I am praying. Join the prayer in your heart because those barriers are coming down. Those walls are collapsing. The walls of Jericho are collapsing. The walls of the prisons are collapsing. The Red Sea is opening. The Jordan is opening. Whatever it is, whatever thing restrains you, there is an opening now. But if God tells you to turn around, also turn around right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, by the anointing that is down now, break every wall. Break every imprisonment. Every lion is destroyed. The thunder of God arrives now and destroys every limitation, every boundary of evil, every wall that had been rest up by the evil ones, everything that came in the so-called natural sequence to hinder you, they are all taken down now by the thunder of God. The earthquake of God shakes up what remains of there. Where a valley had been created for you, it is filled up by God and it becomes a plain land. Where the thing is so large, God takes you over to the other side by the wings of the eagle. You are free. No more restrictions, no more limitations. And if God has told you to turn around, turn around. That path is not for you. He will show you the path to go. Follow that path. Success is yours as you listen to him. In Jesus' name. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.